As of, as of right now, we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to the 2021 June PPD webinar series. This is going to be on testing uh, X lights, uh, testing from X lights, and we're going to do a live setup and test so that you can test a prop that you have completed or finished or pushed pixels on. Um, and that way you can see that it works correctly. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started and share with you the goals of tonight's lessons. Tonight, what we're going to focus on is setting up a Windows 10 network using E131. So if you're a Mac user, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this in a Mac. Um, the second goal is to add an Ethernet controller to X lights. Demo with the Falcon F16 V3. We have a Pixlite, uh, uh, a Pixlite 16. We have a SAN devices, an E6804. This is a 682. And then we're also going to demo with a uh, FPP controller, a Pocket Beagle 16 V2. This is from Scott Hansen. So I have all of these all set up. Everything behind me is already connected and ready to go. Uh, we're going to walk you through how Discovery works, and we're probably going to use Discovery a little bit to speed it up, but uh, I'm going to show you how to manually enter a controller into X Lights. And uh, the, the part three, we're going to get into adding a model into X Lights that you uh, are going to want to test. We're going to use a couple different methods to do this. We have a model download, model import, and assign to controller. Uh, after after we get the model downloaded or model imported, we're going to assign those to a start channel or a, uh, a controller and an output and so forth so that we can then move on to the last video, which is going to be on live testing using X lights. We'll do the upload to the controller in the last section. Then we'll do an output to lights. We're going to use the bars effect to test and verify that the models are set up correctly and working correctly. Um, and it sounds like it's rather easy and straightforward, and it is, but uh, as always, I like to do uh, a couple. I, I like to use both uh, PowerPoint because some people learn better with it, and other people like to have hands-on, so we'll be doing both, and we'll be switching from both throughout the night. So let's go ahead and get on to a couple notes, some things to know before we get started. Number one. Uh, again, I said oh, we're going to do this into four separate videos. This is going to be quick and dirty. I don't plan to get into uh, super high details, but you're going to hear the com you're going to hear the same information two times. You're going to hear it once, and then you're going to see it. Uh, we're not going to set up a brand new show. This is not setting up a whole brand new show from scratch. So don't uh, think that that this is going to start you out and oh, I'm I'm going to put my whole show into X lights. This is how I do it. Uh, you can use these principles though however, to add a new controller to your show, you can use this principle to add models and so forth into it. So I don't want to tell you that this isn't going to be useful information. Uh, we're also going to assume that you're going to use a computer or a laptop with an Ethernet port on it. Uh, and I, I, I didn't expect to add this caveat into uh, the conversation tonight, but I will. Um, for those of you who can see my uh, pretty face. You can see that I'm holding what is SubRob's USB to um, Ethernet dongle. And you'll also see here I have a wireless uh, network router. And I tried using both of these. So just be aware that, war uh, that there can be issues with uploading if you're using a USB to Ethernet or using a wireless router, there can be issues. There's no guarantee that it will work. And I'll get to that situation when we get to there. So part one, network setup. So this is where we're going to begin. We're going to start with um, how do we set up a simple network. And we're going to use this, uh, we're, again, we're going to use a specifically a computer or a laptop, something with what you see on the right picture there, a network output jack. Um, we're not using wireless, we're not using a USB dongle. And we're going to start by pressing the Windows key. And when we press Windows, from Windows, we're going to search for what's called network status. And then we're going to click on change adapter options. So we'll come down here uh, in Windows here. We'll do a Windows start, uh, start. You hit the start key. And then we'll search for network status. And then as soon as we hit that, we hit this change adapter options. When you do, you have a network connections box that pops up. You'll select, you, you either have a wireless connection, and this is where I was taking screenshot shots yesterday and realized that the wireless connection wasn't going to work, so I had to rewrite this to say Ethernet. And uh, we select the Ethernet, and once you do, you can double-click on it, and then you head to the Properties button. 
after you head to properties, the properties will open up. We're going to go and find TCP IP version 4, Internet Protocol version 4, and then from there we're going to click the properties button again. Now, after we open up this screen in the Ethernet properties, we'll go ahead and assign our computer an IP address. Now, the IP address that you select needs to match the way your controllers are set up. I personally use the 192.168.1.1 network, or the one, the one network is my main computer output to my controllers. So whenever I'm outputting data, I run, I run my show from a show computer, and I run that computer has an IP address with 192.168.1.1. If your controllers on a 10.0.0.1 or 10.0.0 network, then use that. If your controllers are on a 192.168.0. something network, then use that. Whenever you get to this page here, you are going to have to click the radio box first that says use the following IP address. You'll change the IP address. And again, I always use a, a, a number one. That's my, you know, that's like ground zero for where the data comes from. So I always use one here at the end. The uh, subnet mask all you're going to do is click in the box and it will autofill with 255.255.255.0. And that's it. That's all you have to do for networking inside your computer to get your Ethernet adapter to output through the Ethernet port. And then you're going to click OK. Now, um, warning, if you're connected to the Internet with your network cable and not the Wi-Fi, your Ethernet connection is going to drop your Internet and it's immediately going to get nothing. So just be aware that if you're on the Internet and you switch over, you'll have to go back into the Ethernet properties that we just went through and change that radio button back from uh, define IP address to obtain IP address automatically. So that's just a disclaimer. And what we'll do is we'll just go through that step and set up right now in this process. So. This is the easiest and fastest process. Uh, this, is a, this is basically all you have to do. Hit the Start button or hit the Windows key and just type in um, Network. Network status. This is opened up over on the other screen. Here it is. So Network status is what we searched for. We're going to go to Change Adapter Options and then double-click on Ethernet. From here, it opens up in here. You go to the Properties. You find TCP IP version 4, double click on it, or use the properties button. And obviously, I already have this one set up. Yours might look like this. All you need to do is click the radio button, add in your IP address, whatever it might be. And then just click in the subnet box. It fills in automatically for you. And you can, if you want to, put in the default gateway as 192.168.1. Dot one. That's the gateway where you'll send data out. But you don't have to do that. I'm not do. I did. I didn't do it in my test runs. So, um, but it might be something that I've, uh, might be concerning for you in the future. Uh, go ahead and close this out. And now, um, if you can see my picture, there I have a network switch that's right here to my right hand side. There are four controllers off of it. Um, but this specific network network wire is exactly what is getting E131 sent from the back end of the computer, which is under my desk, up to this switch here, which connects into my show network, which is behind me. So I have I have four different controllers here, and we'll get more specifically into those controllers in just a few minutes so that's gonna uh, that's gonna end the first part here of the network setup